Hi there. How's it going, Brown Owl? Um, well, it, it's it's Wednesday, and Wednesday means another episode of Mr. Rogers Community. And I have here with me uh, Baby Bucky and Buckaroo, and we're ready for uh, episode ten. So one of the things that I'd like for us to really look at here today is this was the first time that we um, un unleashed, if you will, our office hours. And so I'd like to spend some time going over that and what office hours are for um, you as students and us as staff members. Um, and also to, to kind of celebrate today, Spirit Day. Spirit Day is about finding a way to celebrate together everything that, that we have here in our community, the Gross Point Public Schools, as well as in the United States of America. And that's kind of why I'm uh, in my little hat here today. So this hat is special to me and it represents everything that I feel the United States and the Gross Point community is about. And that is 100% powered by USA Optimism. And I, I like the fact that it's got also, it's from the Life is Good company. And this has been, as you can see, a, a hat that has a little bit of time involved. It's worn, um, but it also represents what we are as a people here in Bra at Brownell and in the United States. And that is the fact that um, we work hard in this this hat's been through some hard work. We also never give up on that optimism and that spirit of being positive. So today, we're gonna look at some of those types of attributes. Mr. Hunwick, we had several questions about teacher office hours and when Google Meets are scheduled. How do we find those things out? I, I agree, Bucky and Buckaroo. I, I, this will be very important for students to, to understand. Um, so, students, uh, I, I have here the Bronco Bulletin, and this was the one that came out on Friday last week. And you're receiving these as well as your parents. Um, since we've been in our remote learning environment, I decided that it would be advantageous or good for all of you to have it. So a couple things on here that I wanna alert you to, and they're, they're linked. So I'm gonna click on it just to show you. Um, this is the office hour document here, and this is for you to look at and see your teachers on. And you'll notice these are going to be office hours. And I'll use, for example, this area here, 9 to 10 a.m. Um, on Tuesdays, that's like Miss Calloway Burks and Miss Lovelace's hour. And then on Thursday is Miss Corden and Mr. Detlinger's. So on Tuesday and Thursdays is basically going to be office hour days for you to reach out to staff members, to your teachers during those times. And they will be live and you will be able to acquire um, a reply from them instantaneously, either through email or through the Schoology um, dialogue session, or maybe they'll set up a Google Meet, all of which you'll be informed each week on an email through Schoology. Um, the goal here is for you, as I've stated, to be able to um, get direct input from them. The other piece here is we're going to block out on Mondays from 10 a.m. to um, noon so that you can either have maybe an advisory time or if um, Mrs. McNally and I want to have a, a Google Meet by grade level, we could do that during that time. Otherwise, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday should be open for you to maybe have some um, Google Meet sessions with your staff, with staff members or teachers. So the other thing is I'm gonna open up here the synchronous learning 
um, e-learning events calendar. And this is a live document that teachers are going to update instantaneously um, to try and keep you up to date with what's going on in terms of prospective Google Meets. And so right now I'm in the revised at the bottom here. There's tabs and they'll go all the way through the end of the school year and you'll be able to see who's um, conducting a meeting. So if we look today, um, this week we're uh, 420 and so we're on here and we're going to look at um, you know, those types of meetings, et cetera, that are going on. So you can sort of see what's happening. But these are gonna be helpful for you and each and every week I'll post those in the Bronco Bulletin. Mr. Hunwick, it's me, Buckaroo. I'm really excited to see the spirit wear. Could we see that? Hello Brownell, hello Gross Point Public Schools, happy Spirit Day. On behalf of the Hunwick family, I wish all of you the very best. Stay well, stay healthy, and together we will get through all of this. Well Brownell, that brings us to a conclusion of episode 10 of Mr. Rogers Community. And I appreciate the two guests here, um, Buckaroo and Baby Bucky. Uh, hopefully there's been some, some pieces here that you've learned as we're learning to move into this newer normal um, with our online remote learning. Um, th this has uh, been something that we have worked through. But I wanna end on this. It was a magnificent, tremendous, experience to have grade level meetings on Monday with all of you and our involvement was was tremendous uh, the eighth grade we we at one point I think I saw 87 of you on there at one time um, the other grades you were all around in the 50s and and it was it was just fabulous to see your faces um, be able to interact with you and, and just your respect and your politeness with each other in that platform was something that I could have never ever um, wanted anything better than what we experienced. And, and I, I just wanted to thank you for that. You're, you're demonstrating what we've always known and that is just the best of um, young 
learners and trying to make sure that we get through this experience better off than we were when it started. Um, today was uh, sort of our celebration of spirit. Um, your spirit has never been nothing but the best. Don't let that spirit um, go down. Don't, don't let it get to the point where you feel um, you know, any, any point of negativity. Let's be positive. And as I started today's program with optimism, let's continue to have that unbelievable 100% gross point United States of America um, powered by optimism. Let's be positive and let's continue to work through this time to the best of our ability. And again, as we always say, Together we will get through this. So wash your hands, don't touch your face, wear your mask, and most importantly, help out around the house and be that great person um, with your parents. And let's make sure this becomes one of the most memorable, positive experiences in all of our lives. See you next Wednesday.